Greetings people and welcome to another edition of Black Gun TV. I am your host, Black Gun America, and this is no filth. Hashtag rise up, hashtag black community, show love. Today's topic on Black Gun TV, no filth is why it's important to embrace manhood and grow up out the hood mentality. Again, why it's important to embrace manhood and grow up out the hood mentality. We must embrace our manhood, black men, and we must embrace it wholeheartedly. You must embrace your womanhood, black woman, and you must embrace it wholeheartedly. We must embrace the point to the fact that we're in adulthood. We're no longer children. We're no longer teenagers out here in these streets when we live in this world. That we are thinking people. That we are active, proactive. That we stand for what we believe, we understand our culture. You see, in order to embrace your manhood or womanhood, you got to come into the knowledge of self. You got to come into the understanding of self. And in order to do that, you got to find out what your past stand in life according to what you believe, not what you're told to believe, not family beliefs, what's been passed down. No, you got to find what connects with your spirit, which is going to lead you on a path of seeing life and becoming responsible, which is going to take you out that childhood mentality of, you know, depending on mom and daddy or, you know, saying being spoiled, but understand what it means to save, put money up and balance things out. Know what it means to sacrifice, whether you sacrifice for the good or love. For the good of someone else's health, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you're doing, you gotta understand when you embrace your manhood or womanhood that and come an adult, that you gotta do adult things. There's nothing wrong with living life, there's nothing wrong with enjoying life for nobody. Don't never forget that. We weren't put on this earth just to sit around and be clones and go to work all day. You get what I'm saying? We were put here for a purpose. And when you embrace that purpose, you're gonna see life different. You're gonna see things, should I say, man, in an enlightened way. And we need to brace that and grow up out these hood mentalities that we see. The real nigga shit. You get what I'm saying? Bad bitch syndrome. You get what I'm saying? Trying to be the baddest one on the block. Want to be the one with the most bodies in the hood. How about be the one with the most degrees? You get what I'm saying? How about be the one that bought so many houses on the block? You know what I'm saying? That not fixing them up and put them up for rent. You know what I'm saying? To build back and grow the community by buying back the block. You get what I'm saying? When you hear that Rick Ross and Gucci Man song, that's adult shit. They understand what they need to do now. You know what I'm saying? A lot of artists are taking initiative. But they ain't just, you know what I'm saying, putting it out there. Because they put it out there too much. You know, the government going to do what they need to do to stop it. You get what I'm saying? And on that note, you get what I'm saying? You got a lot of rap artists right now buying back their communities. Buying up stores in their community. And putting people to work. You get what I'm saying? There are so many that's doing it. But then, you got a lot of them that still childs with this money. And don't understand what to do with it. And when embracing adulthood and you're still listening to and following people that ain't embracing it themselves, you become a clone. You become a follower because you're doing what you've been programmed to do. And you don't understand that the program is going on because you're caught up in a moment. You're so caught up in a moment till you really don't see nothing around you. But all you're seeing is the happiness that you have when you're enjoying and doing what you do. Get what I'm saying? When you got a person that go out every night and get towed up and fucked up, you get what I'm saying? Eventually that's going to play a part on their health. In order to be adults, you understand that you got to stay healthy every day. You get what I'm saying? As children, we ate candy. We drank soda water, tater chips. We cried when we couldn't get no chocolate. You get what I'm saying? We didn't understand why we couldn't have certain things. But at the end of the day, when we got older, we found out why. Because it was unhealthy for us. And we didn't need it. And you got to put balance in your life. And when you put balance in your life, you begin to balance out your friends. You begin to balance out family. You begin to balance out your activities. Because you see what I'm saying? Family is a whole part of that thing. And when you balance it out, you got to first balance out your household. Everything goes on in your household first when you take care of yours. And then from that point, you balance out and you take care of other members. You know what I'm saying? A deal with them. You know what I'm saying? The best thing to do is when you grow up and be an adult and get your own family, you understand that you're going to have to do some things with your family on your own. You're going to have to understand that you're going to have to deal with the situation and problems that y'all having on your own. Because sometimes not everything is everybody's business. And being an adult, you don't tell everything that go on with you. You keep some things to yourself. And as kids, you know what I'm saying, as teenagers, we always went to somebody with a problem. You know what I'm saying? We always saw somebody help for this, saw somebody help for that. You know what I mean? Or do a bunch of crying and praying. But once you become an adult and embrace adulthood, you got to find out that, you know, you got to wipe them tears away. That you got to make something happen. You get what I'm saying? Because you're an adult now. You're not a child no more. 
You know what I'm saying? You got to grow out that mentality and that hood mentality looking to go out there in the streets and make a lick. Looking for that hood mentality looking like bust down in the store or whatever it may be. You get what I'm saying? Anything that's going to put you in jeopardy and take you away from your family. See, that's that hood mentality where you run to the streets first. You don't look for the other logical ways to make a way. And being an adult, you got to be able to look for logical ways if you want to stay free. Free mentally, free spiritually. You get what I'm saying? And spirit in your health. You know what I'm saying? Because... You got a lot of people that are stressed out, don't know what to do, trying to figure out how to do this here, but it's real easy. Stop looking in that mentality of what you've been taught on the hood, because the streets really only teach you how to survive for later in life, if you understand what that means, because you'll come better, because it will brand you, it will mark you. You know what I'm saying? The streets will do some things to you when you're out there, because you're going to see some things. You're going to be involved in some things. You get what I'm saying? Things are going to happen. They're going to either mold you for the better in life to make you look at it like, damn, I really need to get out this and find another way. Or they're going to take you into a darker place where you're going to enjoy it and you're going to embrace it. And when you embrace it, it's a dark place to come out of. And a lot of people don't understand that. But they're so caught up in it because this was advertised to them every day. Ain't nothing advertised right now on TV, man, that, you know what I'm saying, to put people to let them know that adulthood is beautiful. When you look at TV, they got broken homes. The mama and the daddy alcoholics are... If it's a black family on TV, the dad is not there, or either the mama doing something, she ain't got no business, you get what I'm saying? Or you got kids living with a grandmother, you get what I'm saying? They always produce us in the eyes of television as our homes are steady broken to the point to where now, you know what I'm saying, they're starting to show a lot of interracial couples, even in commercials. They like to have a white, white Caucasian male in there, then you had a black woman in the mixed kids, you know what I'm saying? They, they presenting these things to us and this divide is not showing us what's really the truth. We need to know the truth and understand the truth and know what's going on around us. But being little kids, you take everything for bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You're not paying attention to the media. You're not paying attention to the plot and play that they put on you in the movies and the music. You know what I'm saying? You're just enjoying it. Being a child, we enjoy everything. We want to watch anything on TV that's cool. If it's cartoons, we're going to watch it. And these days, they put most of the subliminals in kids' cartoons. But by being adults, we see the cartoons that our kids watch, and we don't want to pay them no mind. Because, you know what I'm saying, we like, oh, man. But you got to understand that you got to be able to reach your kids while they're trying to grab them at a young age through the television. While you ain't paying attention. See, you ain't got to worry about the streets too much no more with the young kids. When they at the ages, I say, like, man, between 2 and 7. You know what I'm saying, in the ages of 7, I say in 11. You get what I'm saying? They putting it out there. If you don't pay attention to these cartoons, some of these cartoons, man, are dressed so clad. They talk about sex in these kids' cartoons, man. You know what I'm saying? Establish relationships. You got homosexuality in these kids' cartoons. You got all this. You get what I'm saying? Right now, they want to put out a Frozen movie, but they want to get Elsa a girlfriend. They want to embrace the homosexuality, but they want to embrace it in a kid's movie. You can search it and Google it. You get what I'm saying? And we got to be able to understand that. We got to be adults and understand that we got to be able to be responsible for our children and protect their minds. It's the whole point that I'm bringing in. You get what I'm saying? Punchline. Because if we don't protect their minds, if we don't understand that they're important, then they will take control. You know what I'm saying? And we got to get out that hood mentality that, man, fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a baby dad and want to be a baby mama shit. No, you need to be a father and a mother. That, that little old shit there needs to stop. How can we be baby mamas and baby daddies? Do you know that what that means? And it's promoted. Whenever you see a movie on TV and it's about a baby mama and a baby daddy and it involves black people, what do you see? You see a dysfunctional family, a father who really not embracing his kids, don't understand how to love his son. You get what I'm saying? But, oh, if you take it and flip it and change the color, oh, they loving their kids. They got everything they provide for them. The thing is that they just working too much. That's the only thing that's stopping them from loving their kids. But for us, we're drug addicts. You know what I'm saying? We don't accept responsibility. Our fathers were drunk. Our mothers were prostitutes. You get what I'm saying? That's what happens, and this is what happens in the hood, and this is the hood mentality that's what's gone, because you got daddies out there actually pimping their wives while the kids watch. You get what I'm saying? And you got mothers putting themselves out there to show their daughters, look, you got to do anything to take care of your business and get it how you get it and get it how you live. You get what I'm saying? That hood mentality shit. No, you got to show her, baby, educate yourself, sit down, study some homework, teach her to use her skills. Don't teach her to use her body or teach him to use that gun and put that work in his hand. That's not being an adult. That's that hood shit. You got to grow up out there. We got to be men. Embrace being men. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with loving yourself as a man. Understand that you're a man, that you have emotions, that you're going to cry. You ain't got to run around all the time like this here. Me ain't mugging everybody, nigga. What you looking at, nigga? Yeah, nigga, boys, nigga. I'm the realest nigga in the hood, nigga. Yeah, nigga, bust. Oh, man, calm down, man. Smile a little bit. Put a smile on your face, man. Goddamn. It's too beautiful outside, too beautiful in this world, man, for us not to understand and embrace what's in front of us and love that and enjoy that life that's with us, man. 
because at the end of the day, it's going to be one day gone. Once your soul gone, it's gone. So you got to be able to do what you can now because one day you're not going to be here. And you can spend your life embracing either one way or the other, but eventually you're going to leave this earth and you're going to leave behind that trail behind you. Now, what do you want to leave behind you as an adult when you pass away? Do you want to leave a bad example behind you or do you want to leave a good example behind you? Especially when you got kids and other family members that follow you. You want to leave something behind, man, that they can take and pass on for generations. Like, man, I remember when cousin or auntie or uncle did this. Well, they had this type of business, you know what I'm saying? Passing down skills instead of now passing down pistols and, uh, should I say, man, rights to being a, the gang leader and all that bullshit. I never understood that. You know, I, I, don't, I ain't good with authority anyway, so I know I can never be that. Because I'm going to challenge the boss at any given second. If something ain't right, I'm going to challenge it. So I know I can never be that. And I don't see how other grown-ass men link up with other grown-ass men and let another grown-ass man tell them what the fuck to do, distribute them work, put them in situations that they not even putting themselves in. They sit back collecting the money while you out there putting yourself in jeopardy. That ain't adulthood. That's child shit. You know what I'm saying? You out there with the work and the gun for somebody that's sitting back on the phone. Yeah, man, I need you to go handle this. You know what I'm saying? What is that? Who are you as a man? You can't be an adult, you can't be embracing your adulthood, you still caught up in hood shit. Because you want to earn your stripes in the hood. You want to be known as the hood, as the goon or a runner. You know what I'm saying? The one that you call on, you about that action. Be about that progressiveness in your life, man. Be about that. Be about being a father, being a better man to your wife. You get what I'm saying? Being a better son to your mother, being a better brother to your sister, and all. being an example to your cousin. Be something that's going to be great in life instead of being looking like an ass out there. Because that's what they want us to look like. Get what I'm saying? They want us to fight with each other. People gonna have disagreements. Sometimes they get physical, but they should never get to the point to where you should pull a gun and shoot another black man down in the middle of the street. And then, you know, black lives matter. That's kid shit. You still on that hood shit? Cause you got something to prove. If you got something to prove, stand up for your people every day. Don't stand up when they die. Stand up while they still live. That's the goal. If we don't stand up right now for our people, for ourselves while we still living, it don't mean shit when we die. You get what I'm saying? Because it ain't going to be another moment, but a bunch of chanting, a bunch of crying, a bunch of hoorah, and then about two, three weeks later, ain't nobody saying nothing, ain't nobody doing nothing. We're back on our key and shit. We just, hey, we was in our feelings because I couldn't get my toy. You know what I'm saying? I went in the store and mama said I couldn't get the car, so you crying and like a fool and all. You want to foul out and all this old shit. You get what I'm saying? And race it over. That nigga, that be flying on that bike through this motherfucker, man. Ooh, but now ever hit a rock out there, he gonna be one flying ass. But anyway, you get what I'm saying? We need to embrace it. We need to stop acting like church. We need to stop being mad at other people. People are gonna do good in life. And if you ain't willing to do good in life, you can't be mad. That's child shit. Because um, the other kid got the, the new kicks and you ain't getting when you're supposed to get them. So now you want to act the ass. And you know you want to go steal or some shit. Do something to make mama realize that, hey, my mom here. And I wanted them too. You know what I'm saying? That old... I get jealous shit. Why are, you, why are you jealous of another man or another woman for what they got? If you're going to grind and get what you're going to get, it's going to show in your life. It ain't all about the material. It's all about what you can accomplish and what you can build. You get what I'm saying? It ain't all about dressing up and matching J's. That's a good thing, but at the end of the day, do you want the rest of your life spent capturing moment being a Jordan man or a Jordan woman when you could be someone dressed up in a suit and our heels wearing red bottoms on a flight or a jet going to a business meeting, kicking your feet up? You get what I'm saying? To the point where you ain't, you ain't got time to even put on tennis shoes sometime. You know what I'm saying? You got to get dressed up, put your house shoes and your heels or your dress shoes on, your suit you're getting and doing what you got to do. It's all about raising your mind, people. It's all about understanding the system, understanding what they're doing to the stars. They want us to be materialistic people. You know what I'm saying? They want us as a people to be materialistic. Why do you think, look at this here before I go. There was a time, people, when you could put a slab together, right? Then you start finding car companies adding bass music and CD disc changes to the cars. They start, took our ideas instead of, instead of charging us everything. They charge us the, the fee for the car, and then you got the interest rate that go along with it. Then they charge you for the extra accessories. If you got the screen, you remember that was a time when you couldn't even buy a car with a screen. They started putting the distant volts on this. They watch what we do, and they use it to straight up, man, put it back in our face and sell it to us. They take our ideas, flip them and sell it to us, and use it against us to make us, should I say, man, look foolish in a sense because of the pride we'll take in it. Some people take more pride in their car than take in having a home or a house. Or even putting a roof over their head. You got a slab, but you ain't got nowhere to stay. That's kid shit. That ain't adult shit. You out there in the hood every day. You got to work, but everything started up at your baby mama house. That ain't adulthood. That's kid shit. Because see, if the laws kick her door in, she the one going to jail 
while you sitting somewhere, oh, then I ran up in the house and got kids, CPS, so I go get the kids. This shit goes on in the black community. This ain't nothing that's, that's to be saying. This really goes on. You ca cats out there right now got work at their baby mama house, in their mama house. But you're supposed to be hood. You're supposed to be the one supposed to be ready to take that charge. Then they're kicking your mama though. And you know what I'm saying? Who's going to take that charge? That's kid shit. It go on right now. That ain't adult shit. You know what I'm saying? We need to wise up, grow up. We need to be men. We need to be grown women. You know what I'm saying? We need to get rid of that kid shit and we'll be better in life. Because the way I look at life, man, I look at life every day on a positive note. I wake up on a positive note. I get my workout on, which I'm finna do when I finish this here. Stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? I do a little read, do a little see. I, you know what I'm saying? I keep my day busy and doing things that keep me active. Legal activities. Nothing illegal. Don't go associate myself with illegal activities or people that's committing illegal activities. I stay in my own lane. I don't associate myself no more. I don't have no ties with that. I'm not involved in no street activity. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to put myself in a position to where I got to understand that I have to let that go as an adult. It's certain friends that I have to go on here and say, man, hey, we cool. But you know what I'm saying? I holler at you when I see you. But, you know, I got to keep on moving, man. Hopefully, you catch me down that road. You get what I'm saying? I can't look back. Because if I look back eventually, if I look back long enough, I'm going to be like Lot's wife and turn into that pillar of salt by turning back and looking back and running back to the old ways of old, to all that sin and craziness. You get what I'm saying? You know the statement in the Bible, the Sodom and Gomorrah. But the whole analogy is that when you look back, man, you know what I'm saying? Your life's going to become salty. Things are going to get worse for you, not no better. And in order to do that, people, we got to go out that hood mentality, people. We got to go out that spoiled child mentality. And we got to be better and embrace our adulthood. And understand what it means to be responsible and have responsibilities. What it means to be loved and have love. And what it means to have peace in your life and calmness. Not all this rottenness all the time with problems and drama. There's too much of that going on right now. There's so much drama out there right now. It make you just want to say, hey, man. You know what I mean? Why is, why is all this anger here? When anger should be taken and used to make you feel, should I say, man, angry enough, man, to rise and do better than your situation. Pull yourself up. Because you see what's going on. Instead of getting angry and, and should I say, man, indulging back into it. Or, man, and falling back into that place. That old place of darkness and depression within yourself. Because anger is bad on the heart. You know what I'm saying? You end up having chest pain. You know what I'm saying? Minor strokes. You can have a stroke and not actually feel it, people. When you're dealing with the science of the body. You know, a lot of people have strokes and don't even know it every day of the week. And don't even know it. From anger and stress and worry and things of this nature. You can have five, six strokes in a day and don't even know it, people putting all the strain on your heart you know what I'm saying then you start feeling weak because the blood not circulating and things of that nature you start catching headaches you're not eating right you get what I'm saying so on that note man stay humble and stay blessed and understand man that we must embrace our adulthood embrace the life we live right now man we can't go back to the past I ain't trying to relive none of that shit I'm not going to lie to nobody I ain't got nothing to prove and nothing to none of that shit I'm going to do me stay in my lane and keep enjoying myself and pushing what I do man to make my life better because right now I'm growing my audience and doing what I'm doing for Black Gun TV and many other things, man. And, you know, speaking with many different people, it's starting to catch waves. You know what I'm saying? My platform is going to be great for a lot of people and that's going to be the beauty of it. Because see, Black Gun TV is for everybody and it's a platform to awaken the people that speak real to the real with no filter. We need that. You see, that's a lot of bullshit out there. Like Brother Polite, he ain't really about that, man. Mm -hmm. That brother done got that status and now he just switched on the people. You get what I'm saying? That ain't what's up. So we got to remember, man, what's really out there and what we need to follow, man. Because a lot of these people are still kids at heart. They're not embracing their dog hood because the hood is still in them. They can't let go of the hood. They refuse to take their cover off them head. You know, a hood, when you put a hood on, man, you know what I'm saying? You get to feeling like a different person. You put your arms in your jacket, get to walk around with the mean mug. And then when you take it off, you know what I'm saying, people see you. So you're a little different with your hood off. It's time to take that shit off, man, and embrace the real adulthood, man. So are you exposed to your true self? Black Gun America.